What's up, familia? My name is Rolando Benitez. I'm a Cuban saxophone player from Havana City, Cuba. And I'm going to be talking to you about three things that are going to help you to increase your level as a saxophone player and I'm going to make your warm up perfect. <music> The top one warm-up that I do always is practicing with my neck. If you are not new to the channel, I'm pretty sure that you already knew about the mouthpiece video I upload and it create a lot of polemic, you know, a lot of people were saying that, yeah, you definitely should practice with the mouthpiece. I don't practice with the mouthpiece, I don't believe it's worthy, but I'm a true believer of practice with your neck and practicing the flexibility through your neck. Jerry Vergonzi is one of these saxophone players who believe on practicing with the neck instead of practicing with the mouthpiece but he believed that your impression has to be relaxed and the sound that you want to get from the neck of the saxophone is an F so that F is gonna sound like F so if you go to F sharp it's gonna be too tight that's too tight F and then you can practice your flexibility just using your neck you're practicing your flexibility i'm not talking about altissimo notes it's more like for the subtone notes in the saxophone for example f chart f e e flat for this you need maybe like a harder read this one is kind of soft but I really like, you know, the way it sounds. How to apply that to the instrument? When you're gonna play, you're not gonna try to sound like this, like this kind of sound. So that sound is fine, you know, as you can notice, it's fine, there's nothing wrong with that sound, but if you relax a little bit, like thinking in that F position of your embouchure, it's gonna sound like this. So as you can notice, you know, I'm putting a close up on my embrasure so you can notice that I'm not doing any extra pressure. I'm just, you know, like putting some air and it sounds. Number two tip, if you wanna do a warm up effectively on the saxophone will be of course low notes. But how to practice the low notes and what are you gonna search as a result? You know, what are you looking for when you're practicing these low notes? In my personal opinion, I'm one of those who think that low notes is like this opportunity is more in a philo philo philosophy. Ah. The philosophy I have, that's what I wanted to say. The philosophy I have when I practice low notes is I am practicing pretty much my muscles. And it's this moment where, you know, I just go in front of the mirror of my sound as raw as it is, you know. So I would practice my sound, the low notes like this. So, honestly, when I practice low notes, I focus more on the low register of the saxophone. I believe that is the one that helps the more you to get a relaxed embrasure. But obviously, you have to practice, you know, on the high register. What is my point with this? For example, just choose two notes, let's say like B, F chart, right? And I'm gonna practice those two notes all over the saxophone, but paying special attention to the low register. What I'm looking for, when I'm practicing these low notes is just like try to find my muscles, what I'm doing with my mouthpiece, what is the position of my tongue. I'm not paying like too much attention at the way that I am sounding. Sometimes when the read is hard, I even play the B, B, F, 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 B. I have no perfect tissue, so probably I'm out of tone. But the point is like, I am practicing the notes and I'm keeping all the same even if the saxophone is not sounding. I'm not forcing my muscles, you know, to produce the sound. 
So what I'm practicing is just like, I'm gonna keep it relaxed, I'm gonna keep it natural, you know, and see if I can produce the, the sound like this. <laughs> I invite you to try it out and let me know if that works for you or not. But try it out first, you know. Don't be one of these sofa saxophonists that they know about a lot of mouthpieces, they know about the saxophone, they know everything about theory, but at the moment of playing, they just playing sofa out their house. So don't be a sofa saxophonist. Go out there, play with musicians, connect with people, try things that inspire you, talk to people who inspire you, and more than anything, create play is good to listen to other people is good to buy master class is good to take courses but you have to play As I was saying on the beginning, the more important thing about the saxophone and you is the way that you think about the saxophone and that's why my third exercise of warming up is not a physical exercise. In my case, right now I'm practicing a lot of exercise for trumpet, it's from the um, Clark. Clark, Clarky, I don't know how to pronounce that exactly. But for example, I'm working a lot on this exercise because this exercise helped me to connect my mind and my fingers to the instrument. So it's this exercise that I'm pretty sure you know that. So this Clarky Clark exercise is one of those exercises that I practice for connecting my mind to the instrument. For you, it can be anything, you know. You can be working on learning the minor chords, you know, get the minor chords and practice the minor chords. The saxophone, I'm working on 251. Get the 251s, you know, like some specific 251s, you know, things that are related to your mind, you know, and practice that. In my personal case, you know, I'm working on this exercise right now because I find it super helpful. It's something that I did way back ago when I was in Cuba in the conservatory. I practiced a lot of this exercise and I just find it fun for right now at the moment that I am my career. But it can be anything that you are practicing. So remember, the third exercise always is gonna be something related to your mind you know so pay attention to your mind pay attention to the way that you think and pay attention to the way that you see so that was it for today's video i hope you like it if you like it or you learned something just please give me a like and subscribe if you want to support the channel that way you're not gonna miss the next video love you all guys bye